Hello everyone, my name is Carly Hamilton and here I am with a, another layout process video for you guys. This one is the 64th layout that I've done this year and it's actually for my wedding album. I have taken a bit of a break from doing things in my um, this album because I really felt like I was wasn't really doing anything exciting with my layouts. Um, I was really just whacking down some photos on a mat and that's about it. Uh, so in this layout I really wanted to push myself. Um, so uh, I started off with a, actually started off with an embellishment which is a tag that has some holes in it that you, you can use for stitching. And from there um, because I thought that stitching stitching is actually doing something more than just putting some photos on a mat. Um, so from there I've, I've uh, put together these papers which are really really bright and I've used, the, that's the tag there that I had picked out. And I um, picked out some of that paper from the close knit range uh, because it had some um, sort of a stitched pattern on it with um, XO so hearts and hugs, uh, hearts and kisses hugs and kisses. I'll get there eventually. And I also um, pulled out some really bright pink paper and some blue spots there as well. So I really love how vibrant the colours are in this layout. Now with this tag I didn't really like the craft colour of it. Uh, I think maybe I could have painted um, it might have been a bit uh, of a nicer colour but I just decided to use my spray which is one of the Tattered Angels ones. Um, I bought it many 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 years ago before I knew that mists were cool uh, and it's in the watermelon colour so I'm not sure if that colour is still available or not. Um, the colour is pretty. I just think that perhaps a nice neon pink or something might have gone with this layout a bit better but in the end I, I'm, I'm really happy with the results. Oh, I don't have any um, like a heat tool or anything to speed up drying price processes and I was pretty sure that I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that Shane um, my husband has one um, but I couldn't find it so I, I just ended up um, dabbing it dry and then I added some blue spray from my Heidi Swap and I wish I didn't because I don't think the splatters, the splatters dried really nicely but in the end you can't really notice so it doesn't matter too much. So I've picked out um, some thread from, from my collection and I have a large collection I bought um, many years ago I bought this gigantic pack full of all these different colored flosses and uh, so I picked out one that that fit best and now I sit there and <laughs> I'm watching some TV uh, on my computer while I'm doing this and it took a quite a while. I'm not the neatest sewer, I'm not the quickest sewer um, but you know there's something nice about just pulling thread in and out and in and out while watching some some TV. I think I was watching Parks and Recs. Uh, I've been feeling a bit sad lately and Parks and Recs knows how to really put a, a smile on my face. So overall this whole layout took me an hour and 23 minutes and I think that the sewing <laughs> probably took up the majority of that time. So there I am, I'm done. I just um, stick stick down the loose thread with a bit of my double sided tape and later I can peel that off and use it to adhere it to my page. So now that I have done that it's time to actually start picking out um, how I'm going to embellish this page. So I use a bit of that close knit paper up the top there. Um, that's the bit that I chopped off from the side. So I use that as like another little anchor point up the top. I pull out this um, flea market uh, chipboard from its packaging because I haven't actually used it yet. So I thought it's about time that I actually use it. Uh, and there's not much that um, I feel like it goes from this so I pull off a love heart which is in a, a softer pink than what's been put on my layout so far um, and I stick that onto a bit of plastic just so that I can I can move it around the page if I need to. I also don't really like that this um, tag was a tag I, I felt it was just too big and overpowering so 
I cut it down and ended up rounding the corners just to make it into a smaller embellishment to stick onto my page and I quite like that much better. That um that jar uh, tube I just pulled out I got that from um, this shop I can't remember what the name of the shop is but I'll find it and I'm gonna put a link below I think the test tubes are awesome and I wish that I'd bought more colors because um, those test tubes are so cool um, it's such a cool way to store embellishments so I'm, I'm definitely going to get more of them if possible I'm going through my um, larger die cuts and tags and stuff here and I've pulled out quite a few things that I could use on the page and this box here is my smaller um, die cuts and stickers and stuff so I'm just um, pulling out some of these tags and stuff and putting them on the page uh, starting to sort of lay out how I'm gonna put this layout and now I'm going through this box here to see if there's anything else that I like that I might want to pull out and put on the page. This uh, pink tag that I am um, inserting there is actually uh, already been cut in half because I've already used it on another page. I like to um, cut down tags if I'm tucking them under like that. That way I can use them on um, another page and my stash lasts twice as long. Which I find is important if um, I know some people just have an overabundance of stash, um, whereas I like to try and not, I tr try being the emphasis here, try not to buy too much um, and actually try and use up what I have. I know it's a challenge because I love shopping too, but that's my thought process. So I've got out um, some flair and also some heart-shaped buttons. And I know the heart-shaped buttons are from Doodlebug and I really wish buttons um, and shaped buttons would come back in because I love I love them. <laughs> They're awesome. Now this box here is um, usually full of my larger embellishment um, stickers and stuff like that. I've also got all my um, enamel dots and stuff in there. So I've pulled out um, some wood buttons with enamel dots on them from uh, the new Dear Lizzie Daydreamer line. I love those buttons, they're so sweet. Another thing I do is um, if I'm using my wet glue um, and it leaks out the side, I just use a little sponge to um, mop up the excess glue there. Okay, now I'm just going to um, glue down that top cluster embellishment there um, and I just you know line line things up and then stick them down I don't really take too much care but I, I really like the way that um, all those papers and stickers have overlapped there now with my flare I decide to use um, a bit of foam dots um, just to pop it up a little bit And with the buttons, uh, I get out my foam mat there and my pokey tool and I just poke holes in the page and I get out again my um, thread that I used in the heart um, to sew down the buttons. Um, as I said before, I'm not the world's best um, sewer. So don't laugh at me too hard. Um, but there's not much that can go wrong with sewing on a button, right? So I do the same again with um, with the other button that I put up the top of the page. And I just um, stick it down with my double sided tape um, to keep the, the thread from falling out. There we go. Now I have a look at these um, Dear Lizzie buttons and I decide to place down um, one of them that has a little heart in it just, just so that I have um, a whole cluster full of hearts. These are some word stickers from my mind's eye and I decide uh, to place a little heart up the top there to make that a heart cluster. And also I, I decide that I want to stick some words on top of the photo. Um, so I stick some words down the bottom of that one and they say 
they say uh, I love you so much um, the one that I'm putting down the bottom there and then the one up the top um, says love you always and those letter stickers um, word stickers they sort of bring back in that soft pink color that was in the heart um, the heart chipboard that I placed up the top now you can see my beautiful collection of enamel dots um, a lot of them are doodle bug uh, but I decide to use these now and then ones um, because they have that nice um, hot pink sort of color in them so I add some more hearts to my heart clusters and then I use the circle, uh, just the dot shaped ones uh, to add a bit of interest around my clusters there. So some down the bottom cluster and some up the top cluster. Now I really want to use my sequins on this page um, so I pick up a few and just um, drop them on the page but of course they've clumped together so I need to separate them out and then I just sort of half drop half place them on the page and the way I decide to stick them down in this case is with my um, Zotz ribbon adhesive which are just like a line um, of this um, like they're like a glue dot um, but they're in the shape of a, of a line so you can really easily um, adhere uh, ribbon down but in this case I just plonk them on the end and snip snip it off so it creates a really tiny little um, glue dot the glue dots I have are way too big for these sequins so I just use my my ribbon adhesive here for smaller embellishments like this and it's really good adhesive it's um, possible to get off <laughs> and by impossible I mean not impossible but I mean they don't they don't just fall off so I pick it up and I shake it a bit just to prove to myself that they're well stuck and then I'm calling this one done so I'm showing you a nice little close-up of my embellishment clusters there and then the rest of the page so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, thank you so much uh, once again for watching and please don't hesitate to leave a comment below let me know what you thought of this layout um, I'm very happy that I was able to do something a little bit um, you know different than just whacking down some photos in the mat which is what I had been doing with my wedding uh, layouts so hopefully I've got my mojo back thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time bye